can't really believe it's actually the 1st of January but happy new year anyway and today I'm probably going to film my first video for my main channel like for the new channel I suppose um, so that's why I'm putting makeup on and everything um, I actually haven't worn makeup for quite a few days <laughs> normally I wear it every day but yeah lately I haven't and um, just can't really be bothered to be honest but seeing as I'm filming for there I want to actually make an effort I need to also set up a room because I'm planning on oh I got a bit too much there I'm planning on filming in the outside room where the guinea pigs originally used to live like in the outdoor building and um, because there's good lighting in there and it's warm well I can make it warm um, so that's the plan anyway <laughs> So rather than just having videos about one thing in particular, I want to have different, you know, different things to show in one video, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be doing like different crafts and um, also different tips. I have a main feature of the video, so like the main feature of one week could be like about nutrition or accommodation or healthcare, etc. There will be a feature each week, um, but... I will include different things to make it interesting so maybe one week we'll have some sort of little experiment type thing just to make it more engaging rather than just you know watching me talk for ages because it can get a bit boring like I'm doing now. <laughs> so yeah I'm also going to be filming with the animals because in a lot of my videos I just sort of sat there and put overlay clips of the animals but I'm actually going to have the animals with me whilst I'm filming so like I'll be answering questions with like the rabbits in the room or the guinea pigs in the room. down to this room to film the new video and um, I don't really have much of a plan oh my gosh it's freezing you haven't seen me that's better it's so cold in here guys um let's have some lights on and oh, it's freezing I think it's even colder in here than it is outside actually um but ow it's okay because <laughs> we have this thing it's fire um, not a real one, but how do you work it? I think we just press. Oh, it's probably not switched on. Let's see. Oh, we've got nice fairy lights as well. Look at that. Um, so yeah, put it on full heat because it's that cold. Oh, the guinea pigs would love it in here with the fire actually. I'm now deciding on a background. I kind of like this background here. I really like the pattern of like the wallpaper. Um, I don't know. Um, but then there's this side, which is kind of plain. I don't know. I could probably film different parts of the video in different places. Um, what about here? No, the other side's better. And uh, I think these lights as well. Maybe I can point them so they're, they're more like facing me, if that makes sense. So let's see. I think they just twist, but I'm really scared of breaking them. Well, it goes, oh my God, it feels like it's gonna break. They're so dusty, it's like disgusting. <laughs> Ew. Um, well, that's a bit better. Oh, I love these as well, little bird houses. Then I'll point these ones. So I'm just going to try and get it to... It's blinding me. Oh, that didn't sound very good, did it? Well, they don't point down as such. Of dust coming off there is disgusting. 
I managed to rearrange the light so it's like focusing on here and it looks so much better, like so much clearer and the quality is always better. I never knew I could actually do this. Um, I've also got these lights which say, oh, what happened? They say Pets Palace Kids on them, I already showed you guys. Um, but I did think they would look better against the green wall rather than the patterned wall. So I'm probably going to go and attach these and see where they will look best. I've decided to try them here. Well, I say try, but once they're on, they're on, aren't they? Um, oh, this sofa is so cold. See, I've just put them up against this wall to test them. And I don't really know if you can read it because of like the glare. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Welcome to my studio! <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys. Um, oh, this is on the tripod so I'm just going to get it off. It's stuck. Okay, so I've got the green screen. Um, it didn't really work with the other background so I decided to go the green screen meaning that I could choose whatever background I feel is appropriate. Um, and it's just on this screen thing here, that's what's holding it up. Um, but this way it just seems to work a lot better and the lights actually work really well you can see these aren't proper filming lights these are just the lights that came with this room um, so I'm pretty impressed to be honest I'm just going to upload the footage that I've just done onto my laptop and see if the green screen works before I do anything else so here we are I've just imported the footage um, I don't know if I'm going to be using this exact one but it was just sort of to test it if you like so I'm going to first of all test out the green screen see if that works I actually completely forgot how you do green screen on Mac um, what do you do I honestly don't remember so I finished doing the introduction for my channel and I've edited it and everything so I'll start off with opening mail from people like different questions and stuff then like the next part of the video will be like the main feature then maybe i'll finish with some facts or tips or something you know just to keep interest i'm gonna give myself like, a few days before uploading it so i can get it how i want it to be and not have any schedules or deadlines i don't want to say oh i'm going to be uploading on every thursday or whatever because realistically that just puts me under a lot of stress and it's like, it might sound a bit silly but you know when people are relying on you and they're expecting of you so a few people are bunny, hi you're so gorgeous, aren't you? where's that little monkey? oh there she is he's <laughs> oh, like bunny so sweet and then TK's just a little monkey you're a little monkey <laughs> They're both so lovely though. They did have a bit of a fight today. Um, not really a fight, but there was a lot of tea chattering and like TK sort of kind of attacked Bonnie a bit and then she like went outside the cage. I mean, they, they get along well generally, but sometimes have a bit of a fallout. So no, they're not best friends, but they do get along quite well considering there's only two of them. Um, out of all the pairs I've had, I would say they get on quite well. I mean, Bonnie and Multi were really close actually, they had a really good bond. Um, tea Cake's just a very feisty guinea pig, I think Bonnie would get along with any guinea pig, it's just Tea Cake is very feisty. Um, hence why I'm nervous about introducing her to the herd if we ever do. Um, because after the last time with Multi, when we introduced Multi to the herd that was an absolutely d disaster. Um, they were like ripping shreds out of each other and tackling each other and it was horrendous to watch, it was so scary. Um, so, I don't really know. I'm kind of very, I guess I'm more wary now. I've had a bad experience with it. Um, just knowing her personality, I'm not really sure what to do. But I love having these guys inside. So, I don't know. I'm not in a rush to do anything, let's just say. And obviously it's winter, so, you know, I've got time to think. Hi. You've got the cutest little starfish feet, haven't you? Look at them feet. Oh my God, you're so cute. <laughs> they're expecting their virgin arts, why they're kind of running around so as i was saying hello are you running together yeah some people have been saying oh we saw the gerbils fighting in the video yesterday no not yesterday day before yesterday when i did their food routine um honestly they're fine 
I think people were just like concerned because they saw them like well they weren't really fighting they were just sort of play fighting but they're fine um I think just because Sooty is he's such a character like he's um compared to the other two he's very like he's such a character um and <laughs> he's sort of like the cheeky one hello oh, they're all lovely um I think now they're getting older, obviously things are changing. Oh, they're running together, that's so cute. I'm surprised the wheel's big enough for that, actually. So anyway, I'm probably going to clean them out tomorrow. This will be the first time I clean them out, because I haven't cleaned them out since we've got them. Um, generally with gerbils, you don't want to change it too often, probably like once a month, maybe. And renew like most of the bedding, you know, you want to save some of the bedding. So um, there's still some of their scent trails, because... They rely heavily on scent um, to gerbils, but I don't know. I'm probably going to clean the cage tomorrow, um, or a section of it anyway. I wonder where Chestnut is. I think he's still sleeping. And then I decided I'm probably not going to be able to build a lid until maybe when the weather gets warmer. I, I can do it outside, maybe. I don't know. Well, it's not something I can do like overnight, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to get loads of these and put them all the way across underneath this lid so when I lift the big lid off they can't jump out, I can just take off little sections at a time, that's all I can come up with really at the minute. But yeah they are getting along okay now, they just had a bit of a scrap and I think it's just because um, obviously they're changing, they're getting a bit older now and you know they're starting to mature so it's, it's very normal. Um, so just wanted to let you guys know. You're so cute! I also just wanted to say about this IKEA hay rack because I recently just put it in the guinea pig's cage because it's a really nice big hay rack and these guys go through a lot of hay now. Um, now they're not getting pellets, they go through a lot more hay because obviously like the pellets reduce hay intake by up to 30% with just a tablespoon. So they've been eating a lot more. But anyway, that wasn't what I was going to be talking about. Basically, I just wanted to say Bunny actually got her head stuck in one of these holes today. Luckily, I was in the room at the time. She just got her head through one of these. Um, they are fairly small, like, if you look at it compared to my hand. But she still managed to get her head stuck, and that made me a bit concerned. So, I'm not going to be using it. I'm probably going to take it outside for the rabbits because they can't really get their head stuck. I just have a little tip. So... What I found out recently is that the best way to clean your leafy greens is to fill up like a bucket or a sink with cold water and then put the leafy greens inside it because basically what happens is all the grit and like the soil and everything or the, the dirt from it is going to sink to the bottom um, so it's an effective way rather than just rinsing it and um, you know make sure that everything you know cleans properly and this works so much better for me because I have a lot of stuff like Oh, that is just from one evening of veg for the rabbits and the guinea pigs so I need a lot of space and it takes a long time to rinse it one by one so this is just a lot better for me and yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know so then once they've all been rinsed like obviously they're really really wet um, so it doesn't really matter if they've just got like a bit of water on them because obviously any like fluid is good it's hydrating but sometimes it's too much and that can cause problems so because this is absolutely drenched with water i have to put it in this spinner to just get off the excess and then i just set it out on towel so it can properly dry hey jesper <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to say thank you guys like to everyone who has been really supportive on my latest main channel video because I was very nervous about uploading it and that sounds really pathetic but I actually was quite anxious about it because I never know how people are going to react when I change things and I really overthink the situation. Um, I guess because I want to please everyone but I know I can't and I'm kind of learning to accept that um, but it is hard when you want to make everyone happy but like you know, I'm still glad I've gone ahead with it and actually reading through the comments has kind of reassured me, you know, that I'm doing the right thing and even though I, I sort of knew that I was happy with it and everything, it's always reassuring to hear other people's opinions. <laughs> what is he doing? 
think they kind of like Jasper. <laughs> They're not even in the slightest bit nervous of him, which is good. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you and I really appreciate it and I've been getting loads of emails which is really sweet as well. Um, so I'm going to try and include some of those in the next video. I can't promise that everyone's is going to be in because I might get too many and then it, the whole video would be just opening mail and stuff so yeah but I'll probably be doing it in every video I'll open some sort of messages or show some photographs, answer questions etc so there will definitely be a lot of opportunities for people to get involved and I think that's a really important thing to keep it as like a community so I want to keep my subscribers involved and I think it's just really nice to have that sort of connection. Bunny you're so cute! <gasps> she loves her little bear doesn't she? What do you think of Bunny? Oh, don't be scared Bunny. Jasper's really friendly. <laughs> She's so sweet. Hello baby. 